Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Shayla, if this is your first time here. So in today's video, I guess we're just gonna take it down a notch, okay? I feel like the past month has just been full of drama on my eyes, that is, drama with my makeup, that is. There's been just a lot of makeup happening and I'm like, okay, it's time for just like a natural everyday kind of look. And I'm gonna show you every step starting with skincare. There's a new serum that I have been loving from Murad. You guys know I love me some Murad. It's called the Revite Elixir Serum. So I'll show you how I use that. And we are just gonna do like a natural, you know, a little low key everyday beat. It's still season 10 though, okay? It's still, it's a natural season 10 beat. All right, so the first step in my, just my daily routine is the Myriad Revite Elixir Recovery Serum. So this is a eye and face serum. And I just kind of like to call this, you can see it's kind of clear. Um, I like to call it my like de-stressor. So this helps with puffiness. It can be used under the eyes, all over the face. Um, it also helps with just like stress that your skin might be under. And I think all of us are kind of stressed out, you know? So this serum has ingredients that will help with puffiness. Um, it's gonna help hydrate the skin and it has caffeine to kind of like wake it up. So you always wanna put your serum on before your moisturizer because it penetrates deeper into the skin and you know helps with any type of fine lines which some of us might have puffiness dark circles it's just like my everything serum all right next i'm just gonna put my moisturizer on stay hydrated folks never thirsty always hydrated because i have combination skin i kind of like my skincare to set for a second before i put any type of makeup on so I'll just like let it set just for like a couple seconds, let my skin absorb it, you know, and then I'll, I'll go on with my makeup routine. All right, I'm gonna prime my skin with the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Um, I've been using this for a while, you guys. It lasts forever. And I like this because it kind of makes me look smooth and it's pretty like mattifying. All right, new foundation alert. I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Velvet Skin. What color is this? Y505. I can wear a couple of these. This is 505, I could wear 50, I think it's three or two. Whatever's under it, like both of them kind of work. You know, they're pretty, pretty good matches. So even though this says it's like velvet matte, it's like still pretty matte. Oh yeah, that's perfect. And depending on my mood, like sometimes I'm in a mood to wear like more coverage, sometimes I'm in the mood to wear less coverage. So you can always just put a little bit on, spread it out. Like see how you can still see like my natural skin through it. You can keep it like this. I know some people don't like to be like caked, you know? I like to be caked and baked. I like to put it in the oven. I like to let it sit, you know, cook up a little bit. I don't know why I always get like one or two little friends right here. It's really freaking annoying. Ugh. Ooh, this looks cute. She is natural. This is, okay, when I go on vacation and like I wanna put some makeup on cause I know I'm gonna take some pics but I don't wanna like do heavy glam. I'll do like foundation like this with highlighter, no powder, just foundation, highlighter, and a, do I do powder? No powder, yeah. Bronzer, so I guess that is a powder, and mascara, and that's like the look, you know? Cause I feel like this, like look how natural it looks. Mm -hmm. All right, new concealer alert. This is Peanut Butter from Huda Beauty, the Overachiever Concealer. And I'm just gonna put this under my eyes. I'm not gonna go crazy like I usually do. I'm not sure how I feel about this um, applicator, actually, now that I think about it. See it? It's like the, this is like the applicator you use when you use your fingers to blend out your concealer, which is fine, but you know, I like using a sponge. So, oh, and on days when I want a more natural look, I don't usually conceal with as light of a color. I mean, it's like the right color, but it's a little bit like darker than what I usually use. Like I kind of go bright under my eyes. So on natural days, we're gonna, we're gonna keep it a little bit more natural. You dig? So a little fact. I know I've told you guys like I'm moving. We're actually like packing today. And this is like the last video I'm filming in my apartment. And I'll tell you guys more about the move like after we move. I know y'all see in the stories, I'm over here like packing and stuff. Not even telling y'all what's going on. All right, I'm also gonna put a little bit of like whatever's left over on the sponge all over my lid here. I do like the concealer. I'm just not like crazy about the applicator. Ooh, she cute. Drinking game, how many times am I gonna say, ooh, she cute. All right, with the fluffy brush, I'm gonna apply Kunafa powder from Huda Beauty all over my face. 
Oh my gosh, am I almost out of this? I use this all the time. Like I bake with this and I'm just gonna blot it and kind of just dust it on. If you feel like you put powder on and it's like wiping off your foundation, then you might want to go like this and like blot it like so. Mm. Ooh, I kind of like how I'm looking. This looks like fresh. I mean, maybe we should just put mascara on and call it a day. No, we're not gonna do that. All right, I'm gonna go in with my Zoeva 317 brush and my Kat Von D, what is this, medium brown brow powder. And we are gonna fill in the brows. I always start at the base of the brow and kind of draw a line just to kind of create like a shape and like a, I guess like an outline. I'll do the same on top. See that? And then you just kind of like fill in the rest. I guess it's kind of like coloring. Stay in between the lines. <laughs> Ooh, I had like five cups of coffee today. I'm not even kidding. Like, I'm not even joking. I think I'm addicted to coffee and it's like making my hand shake here. I made this a little too thick, but I'm gonna clean it up with concealer. That's why I use concealer under the brows because if you make a mistake like this, you make something too thick, concealer will just like clean that right up. Wow, I really did a number on this brow. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we're doing a natural look, I'm still gonna bake. So this is the same Kunafa powder. Just whatever's left in the lid here, I'm just gonna put under, under my eyes. Little low key bake. Can you guys even see the bake? It's like so low key. Yeah, you can see it. Okay, so the same concealer I used under the eyes, which is Peanut Butter 24G from Huda Beauty. I'm just gonna put this all over my lid and then blend it with the brush to kind of like carve out the brows and make them just like perfect. Well, not perfect, but as close to twins as possible. All right, this is my, I think, yeah, ColourPop E3 brush. It's just like a flat synthetic brush. I'm all about synthetic hair brushes, especially with like creams and liquids. Like, what was I thinking right here? Like, seriously, it looked better? Mm-hmm. I'm switching to a smaller, this is kind of like a flat brush. This is what I usually put like Studio Fix under my eyes with. And I'm just gonna dust off the little bit of baking that I had going on here. And then I'm also gonna press that same loose powder all over my eyelid. So this is gonna kind of keep the concealer in place. And it also kind of looks like you have shadow on. Like it just evens out the eyes. All right, next I'm gonna use my Guerlain bronzer. And this is the Buildable Cheek Brush from Smashbox. And I'm actually gonna use this, even though it's a cheek brush, I'm gonna use this to kind of bronze and slightly contour my face. So forehead, cheeks. Let me do one side so you guys can kind of see the difference. Like it just adds like a little bit of definition, but it's not too crazy. See? And you could even do this by itself if you don't wanna wear blush or you just want that defined chiseled Look, you could definitely just wear bronzer. Put a little bit on my nose here. All right, this is my little secret. It's not really like a secret because I'm sure so many people do it, but I'm gonna put bronzer in my crease. Mm -hmm. And this is what kind of gives like that natural effect because you're pretty much just enhancing your, your natural contours. Natural. Wonder how many times I'm gonna say natural in this video. This is like that, okay, I wanna look cute, but I don't have a lot of time to put eyeshadow all that on. And then using a pencil brush, I'm gonna put a little bit of the bronzer under my lash line, just because I like a little bit of a shadow to kind of enhance the lashes right here. Mm -hmm. Natural, natural, natural. All right, so I love a look of smudged liner on the top. Um, lash line. I think it just looks super pretty and it looks like just effortless and easy. So I'm going to use the Stila liner in Espresso. This is like a super just soft and creamy liner, which is why I like it. And it's easy to smudge. So I'm just going to line my top lash line with this. And uh, you kind of want it to be on the thicker side. Not super thick, but thick, thick. All right, using Galapagos from NARS. Two videos ago, I was using, what was it, Mekong, and I kept calling it Galapagos. I don't know why, but this is like for real, for real Galapagos. It's just like a really soft brown. And I'm gonna dip my little pencil brush into it, just like so, and then I'm gonna smudge my liner on top. So don't put like a ton, you know, just dip it. And I feel like this smudged look, always turns out better when I use a pencil. Like you can't really use the cream. I mean, you can, but the way my hands are set up, it just works out better with a pencil. And I like to smudge a little bit more in the corner. Like I'll go up a little higher. Like, look at that. See how soft it looks? It's so cute. 
Smudge, no smudge, smudge, no smudge. Oh, cramps are about to start, I feel them. I feel them, they're about to start. Before I set my makeup, I'm gonna add a little bit of highlight. This is Chasing the Sun from Desi X Katie. I love this highlighter, okay? I love it. So I'm gonna use my Zueva 134 brush and we are just gonna do a little bit of highlighting here. Hit up these cheekbones real quick. Get this nose together real quick. All right, so right here, okay, don't connect it and then put a little bit on the, the tip. <laughs> a little bit on the mouth here and a little bit on the chin. I kind of just go, no, don't do that. <laughs> I love a chin highlight. Something about it just does something. Should, should we put blush on and then set? Blush and then set. Yes, okay. I'm gonna use Fleur Power Blush from MAC. I've been just, I came back to this blush. I used to wear this like every day years ago. This was the blush, the only pink blush I would wear. And then I stopped using it. I think I ran out and then I started playing with like other brands. And now we're back to it. And it just gives like a really soft, just very pleasant pink, you know, color to the cheeks. Mm -hmm. Real easy on the eyes. Do that. Just a little color. All right, I'm gonna set my makeup with Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is a cherry flavored, which I really like. You know what I think I like about this is the um, the spray. Something about the way that this sprays, it's like, I don't know, it's a little bit better than the, the original full size bottle. Something, that, ooh, oh. Something about this cap, hmm, bomb. Ooh, let her dry. A little bit. Ooh, we're still drying, we're still drying. I kind of put, I think I put too much. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put my favorite drugstore mascara. This is the Maybelline Big Shot. We're gonna put this on top and bottom. And if you have like a nice set of lashes on you, you don't have to put false lashes on. I mean, you guys know, some of y'all have time to put false lashes on, some of you guys don't. Okay, I got time. So I'm gonna put some false lashes on even though this looks cute. When you smudge that liner, it makes your lashes look just so much, so much better. Wait, should I just keep it like this? No falsies? Maybe I will. I see the comments where you guys are like, can you do a video without falsies? It's only like one or two of you guys, but I be seeing them. My top lashes are just like, they struggle. You know, they've been struggling. They're like season three, okay. Yeah, we're putting on lashes. Look at, like it doesn't even look right. Look at my bottom lashes, they're like, I feel like, my bottom lashes were supposed to be on the top. That's how I feel. This is Insta Famous from Lily Lash. This is like a newer lash from her and I've been wearing this like every day. No, really, I've been wearing these lashes every day and I'm not mad at it. They're kind of just wispy and shorter than the Miami lash, which is why I like them. Um, they just give you that, do you know when you get lash extensions? I feel like these lashes give you that look and I like that look, so. This is a look that you guys asked me to film a lot, actually. Now that I think about it, because everyone's always like, film that whenever I do this look. And I usually do this in a, when I'm like in a hurry, but here y'all go. Okay, so I want to do a matte lip, I think. Um, yeah, why not? Fenty Beauty just came out with more of their Stunna Lip Paint, and I haven't worn any of them yet. I've only swatched them, so I'm excited to try which one is this, Uncuffed, which is kind of like a neutral pink. Let me get my liner to get there. What we gonna do? What we gonna do? Okay, this is the BF, no wait, no, I don't wanna do that. This is the Makeup Forever, uh, which one? Limitless Brown. Originally I was gonna do my go-to BFF3 from ColourPop, but I wanted the liner to be a little bit darker and not so nude. Yes, I'm blotting the liner. Blend, we like a blended look. All right, uncuffed. Mm. You guys know I like this. Ooh, look at, ooh, oh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Ooh, this is really cute. I like how it looks. See, this is like every day, all day, every day, okay? All right, so here is the finished look. That wasn't too bad, right? That was pretty easy, pretty, pretty easy. This is, this is the look for me. I love this. I love this lip color. This is like my vibe every day, all day. I just love it. Like I love it. Most of the time when you guys see me and you ask me to do like just my everyday look or whenever I feel like on Insta stories when I post 
this. You guys are like, film it, film it. So I finally filmed it. It's pretty easy. It's really just foundation all over and bronzer. It's, you know, that's pretty much, and good skincare. How about that? Thank you guys so much for watching my natural everyday makeup routine. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment below, subscribe to my channel, and last but not least, strut and slay. Still drying, still drying. Mm -hmm. Whoa. It sure does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just think this is gonna look real cute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like messy hair. Don't care. Oh, my phone's on. Okay.